Happy New Year! Hello and welcome to Really Random Rants. The show we do just that. So today we are going to be doing 10 useless facts to enter this new year. First one, he's Tim, I'm Vic, he's Ash. Hey. And we are the random people. Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Alright, so the first fact on the list is, did you know in Baltimore it's actually illegal to wash or scrub a sink? No matter wow. how dirty it is. Like, it could be really dirty. So basically, who goes around gonna, inspecting yeah. that? I know. Oh, your sink's too clean. $10 is it, fine. Is it a new brand? Oh, but why oh, would they make that illegal, just, though? Because, like, is. there's some really. I don't know, probably because all the stuff goes down the sewer. I know, but there's some things pipes. that can really make sinks dirty. I don't know. Or, that's like, just, that's just if you deadly. Don't have, that's, like, unhygienic. And if you don't have a dishwasher, think that through. <sighs> Like, oh, do you have any clean dishes? No, I only have paper dates. Uh -huh. No, really, I only use paper utensils because my sink got too dirty. Well, clean it. I can't. <sighs> well, the, large, the, large, the largest object ever found in the LA sewer system was a motorcycle. So wait. It doesn't give us more information. It just No, 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 no. But let's just think about it. How? Okay, so, motorcycle. The tire itself is probably the size of a manhole. Well, there's those big drainage pipe things, and so it could have flooded okay, fair enough, and fair enough. gone in during a flood or something. But and then here's what I find so interesting about this fact. The fact that it says the Los Angeles sewer system, which means it's not in the world. Right, so that That's could be too. a smaller that. thing. So like, there could be like a punch buggy stuck in someone's sewers. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so regula a regulation golf ball has 336 dimples. So you know those little, those little things for the aerodynamic things and they do stuff that's important? Um, yeah, there's, a hun there's 336 of them. I wonder if like that's to help with the science or like if it makes... No, it, it is. It, it helps with the ball flying through the air. Right, but the, and no, but I mean like that Maybe exact that amount. Helps. Yeah, I don't know. Also, who because counts I'm those? Sure. Right. Yeah, who, who? Wait, wait. This is the championship. We must make sure they are all regulated. <laughs> the funny thing One, is, I kind of feel like someone three, actually does that. 199. 100 and, oh, wait. I messed up. All right. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five. You almost have to make like a pen five, mark in like every, in or like a color or something. Yeah. But then that's probably illegal too. To, Mark your golf ball. Right. <laughs> okay. But this was interesting but made total sense that boxing rings are actually called that because they used to be round. I think I... That makes... Well, there's also I mean, like a sumo wrestling where it's that's round true. Thing. Uh, there's because space, like, like so that makes, Round just makes more sense for something like that. Right. It's kind of weird to have it square, I think. I don't know why. It just seems... Unorthodox. Speaking of like sports and stuff like that, um, only two countries have participated in every modern Olympic Games. So, and those are Greece and Australia. So it's like, you know, all the modern ones. You go, Greece and Australia. Yeah. Greece and Australia. And then Greece just skips out of this next one. It's just, <laughs> yeah. Australia is left all alone and they're just like, we will do this. We <laughs> are the only continent to make it to all of them. Oh, 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 oh. Australia is no. awesome. Um, Rock. but again, that I'm says modern Olympics. So I haven't been able every to. single one. So like the old like, Roman Olympics and things like that. Right. Because this is like the International Olympics that we're talking about. Right, because that wouldn't be fair. Because let's say these started years ago. Well, obviously the United States wouldn't be there because, uh, you know, it wasn't but around. Even that, but well, even included, was, you know, but including those? Greece is the only one. <laughs> so I think Greece. Anyway, so the next one is the fact that gorillas only beat their chest when they're nervous. I that I find that interesting because like movies they always make it like oh the I'm trying to angry, scare you right scare you. <laughs> it's the opposite. Like. Since they that, might do it to look tough. As like, they like, it might be like one of those things, like you know, those lizards that go. Ah! Because mm -hmm. it's they, they're they they're are scared. nervous. They're scared, but they're doing yeah. it to scare the predator. Like it could be one of those. But yeah, they make it seem like the gorilla is 
so, so powerful. they show up straight. Yeah, like they they like, oh, I'm better than you, and I'm gonna destroy you. Ah! Right. <laughs> Did you know that a jackrabbit isn't actually a rabbit? It's actually a hare. A duck has three eyelids. So like, is it like so a it's camel like, it's sort like of a thing? Camel, so yeah. So like, if their eyes are closed, they can probably still see you. Yeah. Uh, camels, when camels' eyes are closed, they can still see you. It's like I don't know about not both ducks. of their not both of their no because the design so that because they close their eyes when they're walking because the sand blowing them in. well yeah they have two yeah. sets camels so have, two, have sets two sets of, so like camels have so, one set that's almost always closed right it but might here, be right, but here's still, what I it find looks like interesting it. you would think that oh that sounds super creepy but you're so used to ducks that it's it's like oh yeah, it's yeah. a duck footballs the American version. The stupid version. Anyway, uh, they have four seams. So like, you, you know, the, so you know how they have like the line and then the do 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 do. What's do 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 do? Yeah. The number of fingers that mm. goes. It, it it fits with the hand. Even though you don't even put it there, you when you throw a football, you put it on the back too. Places. Really? Oliver taught us that. No, Scotty taught us that. I didn't pay attention. One of them. He taught us because he was showing us how to throw it. Okay. Also, you know uh, that thing that's been around, uh, I don't know, for a long time called the pound sign? Which is also, you know, the number sign or the hashtag or the comic book issue. <laughs> anyway, that's not the real name. None of those are. The official name is the Octothorpe. Which I feel like it's a more common theme than some. Mm -hmm. But I could just be saying that because I somehow knew it. Anyway, yes. Well, people have cared a lot about hashtags recently. So, you know, But, it's... like, but I can just imagine someone going hashtag Octothorpe and it would be like... Hashtag, hashtag. That's a bit <laughs> repetitive. You're so redundant. Octothorpe, hashtag. Unbelievable. Anyway. So weird. So, yeah. that closes this episode. But it starts off the new year, so you now have ten new facts to uh, ten new useless facts to pull out at any nerdy um, social, if that's even possible, social gathering. No, um, you now have it to pull out any family gathering, any gathering of people. Right. Where it's more started... than just you, or you could talk to yourself. Whatever. Like, I'm not going to hey, judge that. We should get a hashtag trending. <laughs> Octothorpe. <laughs> because everyone right on, wants I'm to know it all. <laughs> and you, do, you have to do the finger point and everything. We should get a hashtag. Octothorpe. Okay. So, uh, uh, enjoy the new year and uh, make uh, it a good one. Yeah, so, so Octothorpe, Octothorpe did it first and have a really, really, really random day. day.